Johannes Gutenberg, German craftsman, zealous goldsmith, and notorious inventor. Known for his revolutionary invention, the printing press, a machine that transfers lettering and images from ink onto paper. But before we take a look at his life-changing invention, we need to look at his childhood. Highly trained investigators will take a look at the events that led to this groundbreaking creation on this episode of Germans Behaving Saucy. Johannes Gutenberg, born in the year 1400 of Mainz, Germany, as a German craftsman and inventor. He was also an avid reader and loved books. He always said it was a pity how only rich people could own books and afford an education. From there, he was determined to find a quick and easy way to print. Gutenberg was a man of secret, causing him to work in solitary. As a result, he lived in Strasbourg in a ruined building where monks long before his time lived. He got the rights to repair the room and turn it into his own workshop. His printing press was developed from the technology of the screw type wine presses of the Rhine Valley. So when did Gutenberg start and finish this fantastic creation? And where did it all take place? The printing press was designed to be hand pressed in which ink was rolled over the raised surfaces of movable handset block letters held within a wooden form. The form was then pressed against a sheet of paper. Johannes Gutenberg starts and completes his printing press project in Strasbourg. Johannes starts his work in 1436 and completes his printing press in 1440. In 1444, he returns to Mainz and sets up a printing shop. In 1446, Gutenberg prints the poem of the Last Judgment. This poem is said to be the first document to have ever been printed. In 1448, Gutenberg prints the calendar for the year 1448. By 1450, the press was in operation. Building the printing press would have been expensive to be completed. So how did Gutenberg manage to get the money? Where did he get the financial support? And what was his motivation and inspiration for the idea of the printing press? Gutenberg was able to continue supporting his invention by having many loans from others. He was able to convince a wealthy moneylender named Johann Fuss for a loan of 800 guilders. Guilders are a gold or silver coin formerly used in Germany. Together they formed a partnership. Then another man named Peter Schoffer also joined the enterprise. Schoffer helped create some of the first typefaces. During this time, they started to print the Bible. By 1455, the 200-page Bible was completed. So what was Gutenberg's inspiration for this invention? Well, legend has it that the idea of the printing press came to him like a ray of light. Gutenberg was always inspired by oil and wine presses. This interest in different kinds of presses helped motivate Gutenberg to experiment on the printing press for years. Although Gutenberg dies on February 3rd, 1468, he will leave a legacy and impact on the world for an eternity. The printing press is one of the most important inventions ever created and had the most impact on the world up until the internet. It was a device that helped make documents and books more widespread. This led to people becoming more aware of things, people becoming more literate, and people becoming smarter. Books also became cheaper. This meant that even lower classes would be able to learn. The printing press provided education for all. The printing press also allowed for ideas to be spread easier and for documents to be recorded easier. It allowed ideas to be quickly spread to more people. It was easier for people to make copies as well. More copies meant more learning. This printing press did not just change the way of learning, but it also helped spread cultures, traditions, and music. 
Ultimately, Gutenberg's invention of the printing press promoted a more efficient way of spreading knowledge and ideas. The printing press led to a revolution in the production of books, and it also led to rapid development in the sciences, arts, and religion to the transmission of text. Gutenberg's printing quickly spread from Mainz, Germany to Italy in 1465, then to Paris in 1470, and then into London in 1476. By the beginning of the 16th century, there were approximately 240 printing shops in Europe. It has been estimated that there were only about 30,000 books in all of Europe before Gutenberg's invention of the printing press. Less than 50 years later, after his invention, there are as many as 10 to 12 million books. The printing press helped publish many classical Greek and Roman texts. This was a very crucial discovery because it helped fuel the rediscovery of the ancient world for Renaissance humanists. The printing process of using movable type on a wooden press did not change significantly for over the next 350 years.